I received an email question from Bobby, who happens to travel quite a bit for work, and he's also very, very athletic and hyper competitive. His frustration was, I have to go to a trade show. What can I do to still improve my athletic performance? I thought this was a fantastic question because we all run into that buzzsaw where we're limited on time or we have an impromptu interruption that can really frustrate us. Stop and think about what are the variables that you can control? So in Bobby's case, he had a trade show to go to. We knew he was going to be on his feet for eight to 10 hours a day. We knew he was going to have to entertain at night. It's what I say, focusing on what you can control. Control the controllables. Sounds a little textbook cliche, but stop and think about it. You know you've got a three-day trade show that's coming up. Make sure that you show up to the trade show with snacks. When you get to your destination, go to the grocery store and get a lot of fresh fruit and a lot of fresh vegetables so that you can just graze throughout those three days. Control the controllables. How much fluid did you take in during the day that doesn't have alcohol in it? If you already know what your hydration strategy is, you just spread that out through the trade show. You drop in behind the, the drape there. Maybe you drop down and do 25 push-ups at the top of every hour. Maybe you just excuse yourself and when you walk to the restroom, you do 10 or 15 walking lunges just to open up the pelvis. Maybe you go someplace that you can hide away, you drop to the ground and maybe do some crunches or some pikes at the top of every hour. When the day is over and you've got to entertain, every time you go to dinner, just make a power salad. Just order the biggest salad you can, have them put every vegetable that you enjoy, put some source of protein on it, balsamic vinegar and oil or sugar-free blue cheese dressing. You've got a very high quality, nutrient rich meal. Try to get as much sleep as you can. It's difficult. You've got to be at the trade show early. You've got to entertain throughout the night. You know it's coming. Why make it worse? So stop and think about what we've talked about. If you know you're going to be out late because you have to entertain and you haven't opened up your hips, you haven't done anything to activate the muscle tissue, you've not maintained your proper hydration, you drink a lot of alcohol, after three days of the trade show, what kind of condition are you going to be in? I, and I apologize, you almost have to use the negative example to bring clarification to the positive. When you are exercising at the top of every hour, you are maintaining proper hydration, you are managing the alcohol intake, you're densifying the, the food that you're bringing in, you're bringing in as much nutrient density as you can, and then you do the best you can with your sleep. When you guys are traveling, if logistically possible, try to travel with your pillow, try to travel with your blanket. Try to travel, you know, if you even need to, go buy an oscillating fan. Travel with some earplugs because now you've improved the quality of sleep. You're already sleeping in a strange place. So it's all about controlling the controllables. And by the time you come back, and like in this case, you come back from that three-day trade show, you've done everything you can to maintain what you were doing before you got there, maintain it while you're there, and you just hit the ground running when you get back home because you're rested you're fed, and you're hydrated. Now you can focus on what you need to do. So great question, Bobby. I hope that answers your question directly, and I hope it has helped you bring some more clarity as to what you can do the next time you have an impromptu interruption or you have a personal or a professional obligation that can maybe go a little longer than you wanted to. If you happen to have a frustration, feel free to leave me a message below or DM me directly. Or you can always send me and my team an email, contact at coachrob.com. I appreciate you watching the videos, and we will talk to you soon.